Happy Saturday, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate you always watching the uploads as they come out. I'm trying to make Saturday a regular thing, and you'll notice that there's no new Ask a Raccoon tonight or, or this morning, uh, whatever you're watching. That's because I'm in the middle of a, a, a rebuild next door to uh, at the editing computer. And I thought maybe instead I'd just switch it up a little bit and tell a family story. I was talking with my, my buddy Hund. There he is right there. He's the stupid looking one. Love you, hundy. And I was sharing with him some of my family nightmares. And we all have family moments that are funny when they're happening, but we just don't know it when they're happening because it's kind of in the moment and it's a little hard to predict what the family's going to do. So I thought I would share with you one of my family nightmares. Gosh, this goes all the way back to, I want to say 2002, 2001, maybe 2001. I don't exactly remember. Maybe it was 1999. Anyway, my, uh, my family is originally from Northeast Texas. And I don't have any direct uncles or aunts. Um, so a lot of people in my family, the family name just kind of carried over to me as one of the great nephews or grandchildren or, or what have you. And this is one of those stories. Now, a lot of my stories are going to take place at a funeral. Why? Because they're real fun if you rearrange the letters. So this is one of those stories. Back in the 1950s and 60s, uh, I had a really, really wealthy relative. Um, my Aunt Bobby and my Uncle Bert. And they were extraordinarily wealthy, as I understood it. And they would, like, wealthy enough to fly to Cuba on the weekends. And but before the, uh, the communist revolution in Cuba, of course. And... My Uncle Bert had died sometime in the 80s, I think. I didn't really know the guy. So, my Aunt Bobby, however, lived until the late 1990s. Uh, like I said, it's, I don't really remember. You don't really think to catalog this stuff as it happens. So, she had spent several years, if not like two decades, in the nursing home, slowly squandering what money she had on living assistance. She had dementia and Alzheimer's real bad. and But Bobby, bless her heart, as I was told, again, this is either fact or fiction. I don't know. I just know what I've been told by the family. They had to lock her in her room at night because she used to break out and urinate in other women's shoes in the nursing home. So they had to lock her up and that didn't bode well for the family. So we get a phone call one night. Uh, from one of my other relatives, that Aunt Bobby had passed away in, in her sleep. And we were so happy that finally she was at rest. She was with her other family members. She's with all of our family members, hopefully in heaven. And because she was a good woman, she was a decent woman. Little crazy, but a good person. And not like Aunt Ray crazy. So. We have to go to Kilgore for the funeral. And we all load into the family van and we go to Kilgore. And the family that was closer to Bobby had decided they were going to handle the arrangements for the funeral. So we get up there and it's a nice service outside in the sunshine and the Texas sun. And... My aunt, one of my surviving aunts, looks at my father and says, Mr. Raccoon, will you, uh, it's, obviously his name's not Mr. Raccoon, it's James. I go, James, will you help me with the internment? And dad's kind of like, uh, 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 okay. And so my aunt goes over. And there's this box with Bobby in it. Uh, she was cremated. 
And uh, Uncle Bert, Aunt Bobby had one plot uh, to share, uh, obviously, in the eternity and thereafter. And uh, the way I understand it was they dug a hole for Uncle Bert and just chucked him in the hole. Aunt Bobby, they're going to put on a show. So my aunt produces this cookie jar looking thing. And looks at my father and says, James, can you hold this? So dad goes, got it. And my aunt opens the box. And there's this bag with uh, human remains in it, cremated remains. And she unrolls the bag. It's like it's from Amazon. And she unrolls the bag and then cuffs it. And then takes the bag and starts to pour the bag out into this cookie jar she had thrown and into this urn. At that exact moment, the wind kicked up and nailed Dad right in the face. Meanwhile, I'm not allowed up front because I wasn't a, uh, a, a super immediate family member. You know, they had to prioritize who was up front. I was okay with that. And... This is going to make me sound bad, and I really don't give a shit. Uh, it was already funny, as it was, watching Dad get nailed in the face with cremated remains. And that's when one of my uncles and one of our family friends decide to whip out two acoustic guitars and start singing Kumbaya, my lord. And... <laughs> Yours truly couldn't hold it anymore. I started laughing at a funeral. And I didn't know exactly what to do. So there was this uh, a, a larger woman standing next to me. And I buried my face in the crook of her arm. I just... And I'm going... <laughs> and she's patting my head. She's like, it's okay, baby. She's in heaven now. You don't have to worry none. She's in a good... And I'm just, I'm just losing it. I'm just... <laughs> we get back into the van. Dad is breathing through his teeth. <sighs> Mom looks at him and says, Okay, James, we have to go to Aunt Clara's house uh, for the, uh, the wrap-up party, the after party, whatever you want. I don't know. The, the uh, fondue and hors d'oeuvres. And Dad goes, I have to go to our hotel. No, James, we gotta go. You don't understand, Donna. There's a dead woman up my nose. I'm going to the hotel. And I need a shower. She looks at me. My little sister's got her earbuds in her ears, listening to her iPod. And looks at me and she goes, what the hell happened to you? Because my hair's all tussled up, just standing straight up. And I just looked up and I said, I thought it was funny. And um, so that's the story of, of when Aunt Bobby passed away. God bless her heart. Um, love your comments below. I, I've ironically got a lot more funeral stories. I've got a lot more stories from Northeast Texas, the stories of the raccoon family, as it were. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not even going to edit it. Uh if you enjoy this kind of content, please let me know. You can send your comments to askaracoon at gmail.com or you can just simply share in the comments below. I'd love to read what horrible family things have happened to you. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do have a coffee if you want to support me. It's uh, ko-fi.com backslash star raccoon. Uh, until next time, folks, uh, I do apologize for breaking the Ask a Raccoon tradition that I'm setting, but I do want to get something up for Saturday. Uh, until then, until next time, I'm Star Raccoon, and keep your stick on the ice. Y'all have a good night.